A leaked internal Pentagon assessment, known as the Overmatch Brief, is quietly changing how analysts think about modern naval power. Rather than focusing on one breakthrough technology, the document outlines how layered strategies, combining long-range systems, digital operations, and actions affecting space-based infrastructure, could gradually limit the effectiveness of even the most advanced fleets. This video breaks down what the assessment reveals and why its conclusions matter now. The most important detail in this discussion is not a missile, a ship, or a specific piece of hardware. It is the source itself. The Overmatch Brief is a leaked internal Pentagon assessment based on extensive modeling and simulations, not public commentary or speculative opinion. Its purpose was to examine how future challenges might unfold when multiple capabilities are used together rather than in isolation. A central conclusion of the brief is that effectiveness today depends on systems, not standalone platforms. Modern naval groups operate inside a dense web of information. Positioning, navigation, communication, coordination, and awareness are all provided by interconnected digital and space-based infrastructure. These elements are so embedded in daily operations that they are often taken for granted. According to the assessment, the vulnerability lies in that dependence. The brief describes scenarios where access to space-enabled services is reduced or interrupted. When that happens, decision-making slows, coordination becomes more complex, and flexibility decreases. Even without pressure on physical platforms, effectiveness declines because the system supporting them becomes less reliable. The Overmatch Brief also highlights the growing role of digital influence. Cyber operations, in this context, are not about dramatic moments. They are about subtle disruptions that create uncertainty. Small delays, incomplete data, or inconsistent information can ripple through an entire network. Over time, those effects compound. What makes this approach distinct is its layered nature. The brief makes clear that no single tool is expected to carry the burden alone. Instead, multiple methods are applied simultaneously, each reinforcing the others. Space-based assets, digital systems, and long-range platforms all play complementary roles. The key takeaway from this section is that modern effectiveness is fragile when it relies on constant connectivity. The Overmatch Brief reframes the challenge as one of system endurance rather than platform strength. If the network weakens, everything connected to it feels the impact. One of the clearest statements in the Overmatch Brief is that no single weapon or tactic is expected to decide outcomes. The assessment explicitly underscores that China would not rely on a single weapon or tactic but instead pursue a layered campaign combining missiles, cyber operations, and actions targeting U.S. space assets. This point appears repeatedly because it shapes every other conclusion in the document. Layering works by combining different types of pressure applied across domains. Long-range platforms provide reach and persistence. Cyber operations influence information reliability and decision confidence. Actions affecting space-based assets shape awareness, timing, and coordination. Individually, these challenges can be addressed. Together, they create sustained complexity that is harder to manage continuously. The assessment emphasizes that the objective is not immediate disruption, but cumulative strain. Defensive systems operate within limits related to attention, processing capacity, and operational duration. Layered strategies are designed to test those limits gradually, forcing constant prioritization. Over time, maintaining balance becomes more difficult and flexibility begins to narrow. Scale plays a major role in this approach. Some systems are optimized for sophistication, while others are optimized for availability and volume. The brief highlights how combining both creates persistent decision pressure. Resources must be allocated carefully, and every response choice introduces opportunity costs elsewhere in the system. Coordination across domains further amplifies this effect. Information gathered from space-based sensors, extended-range detection systems, and unmanned platforms can be integrated into a shared operational picture. This allows adjustments in near real-time rather than reliance on static plans, increasing responsiveness while also increasing complexity. An important addition noted in the assessment is timing control. 
Layered strategies allow actions to be sequenced rather than simultaneous. This sequencing forces continuous adaptation instead of short-term reaction, increasing cognitive and organizational demands on complex systems. The overmatch brief does not dismiss advanced platforms. Instead, it shows that their effectiveness increasingly depends on how well they are integrated into a layered, adaptive framework. Capability alone is no longer decisive. Coordination, endurance, and system balance now define effectiveness. The overmatch brief also raises important questions about the role of high-value platforms in an environment shaped by layered strategies. These platforms remain extremely capable and central to global presence. However, their importance creates structural dependence that becomes increasingly difficult to manage as operating environments grow more complex. The assessment explains that concentrated capability leads to concentrated impact. When access to a high-value platform is limited, the effect is not incremental. Planning assumptions change. Options narrow. Overall flexibility decreases. This makes such platforms strategically significant, but also strategically sensitive within a system that depends on constant connectivity and coordination. Visibility is another key factor highlighted in the brief. Advances in sensing, tracking, and data fusion reduce uncertainty across long distances. Movement becomes easier to observe, and predictability increases over time. Layered campaigns take advantage of this transparency by shaping surrounding conditions rather than responding to individual actions as they occur. Production timelines further complicate resilience. Highly complex platforms require long development cycles, specialized infrastructure, and sustained investment. Distributed systems, by contrast, can often be adjusted, produced, and replenished more rapidly. The assessment highlights how this difference affects adaptability, especially during extended periods of uncertainty. An additional concern raised by the brief is decision concentration. When capability is centralized, decision-making authority often follows the same pattern. This can slow response times and reduce flexibility when conditions shift quickly. Distributed systems allow for more localized adaptation, easing pressure on centralized coordination structures. Importantly, the overmatch brief does not argue for abandoning large platforms. Instead, it underscores the need to rethink how they are supported and integrated. Redundancy, dispersion, and system-level resilience become critical complements to performance and sophistication. Once again, the assessment reinforces that China would not rely on a single weapon or tactic. The challenge described is systemic rather than isolated. High-value platforms remain relevant, but their effectiveness increasingly depends on how well they function within layered, adaptive networks designed to endure disruption. The leaked overmatch brief does not predict events or assign outcomes. What it does is clarify how modern challenges are structured. The assessment shows that effectiveness today is shaped by layered strategies that combine long-range platforms, cyber operations, and actions affecting space-based systems. No single capability carries the burden alone. As technology spreads and networks grow more complex, resilience becomes the deciding factor. The future of global reach may depend not on one dominant tool, but on whether interconnected systems can continue to function when conditions are uncertain. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.